Hey guys and gals, Josh with Soundtracks here, and today we're going to do a Tsunami 2 installation in an Atherton RTR rotary snowplow. We'll be using the Tsunami 2 TSU 1100 28mm round speaker and baffle kit and we'll also be adding a current keeper to help keep the sound constant as this unit rolls down the tracks. Let's get started. Okay guys, so we've got the shell off. These models are set up to be DC only from the factory. They have a current limiting um, circuit board in the model that limits about three to three and a half volts of track power to the motor to prevent it from overspinning and overspinning the wheel. We're going to eliminate that as part of the installation and we'll con control the maximum speed of the motor and the front blade of the rotary through our speed settings um, later on when we program and set up the decoder. So with that out of the way you're going to have a very simple um, installation with two motor leads and our track pickups. We're also going to be adding a couple of lights to the front of this to give it uh, some headlights. So the first step I like to take when I'm doing a decoder installation is plan it out so we don't have a lot of extra wires. Uh, you can see I've gone in on the TSU 1100, trimmed back the wires, have them pre-tinned. I've trimmed and taped back the wires that I'm not going to be using. And I also plan where my wires are going, like my audio wires I've got taped back over the decoder so everything's coming off one side of the decoder. To install a current keeper on the TSU 1100 we don't need the plug end of it. It's going to get hardwired to two of the wires on this decoder. So we've cut that off, trimmed and tinned the wires on the current keeper. I also have pre-trimmed and set up a two pin plug that's going to connect to our lighting that I've already installed into the rotary car body. So the first thing we'll do, um, installing this decoder once we've got the wires trimmed and tinned back, I like to kind of build a sub-assembly of my decoder, any connectors, current keeper, extra pieces, and then do a final assembly in the model once that's all put together. So first thing we'll do is install the current keeper to the TSU 1100. This gets joined in to two wires coming off of the eight wire harness on the decoder. The black wire negative side of the current keeper is going to get connected to the green and yellow striped ground wire on the decoder. And then the blue wire, the positive wire, gets joined in with the function common wire coming out of the eight wire harness on the decoder. At this time I'll also add in the lighting connector so that my function common is tied into that as well. With the current keeper connected we'll go ahead and slide the heat shrink tube over the two solder joints we just completed and seal those off and that step is now complete. Final step in this little bit of assembly, we'll join the white wire from our lighting plug to the white headlight wire on the TSU 1100 harness. Apply a little bit of flux. We've already got the wires tinned so it won't take much more solder. Slide the heat shrink over and this step is complete. Well, on the Athern rotary snowplow, the rotary body section itself picks up the left hand rail. The tender picks up the right hand rail. So you can see we've got our tender connection wire here and then the pickups from the rotary body. We'll tie those into the track power wires of the TSU 1100. With the track pickup wires tied into the truck pickups, 
we'll go ahead and seal them off with heat shrink and move on to installing the speaker. So since these models are built for mainly for a DC operation, they're not set up for, for sound. So we've gone and marked a 28 millimeter uh, circle in the floor of the body, drilled a pattern of hol holes in. In this case, it's right over the rear truck of the rotary plow. This will allow a location for the speaker to be mounted face down and let the sound come out through the floor of the car body. Okay, now we'll make our final two connections. Those are the two audio outputs from the decoder to our 28 millimeter speaker. We're using the baffle kit that matches this speaker and we're gonna use all of the optional sections. So before you connect the speaker, make sure you slide the end piece and the intermediate ring on to your wires prior to soldering the wires to the speaker. With that step complete, you can slide the baffle, the rest of the baffle down over the speaker and snap it in place. We'll tape those wires down to the top of the speaker, route our wires, mount our current keeper, and we're just about ready to take this unit to the program track. All right, so we've got everything installed. The TSU 1100 decoder, 28 millimeter speaker and baffle, current keeper. We have our lighting plugged in and run neatly across the top of the car body. And uh, we'll button this shell up, and do some programming, and we'll see how it sounds and operates. All right, so we've completed our installation on the Athern rotary snowplow. Let's uh, hear how it sounds. We've got some lighting. Very appropriate rotary style whistle. We've got the decoder configured to be an oil burner. We've also got the chuff selected to be a geared locomotive and set up to be a three cylinder locomotive. This style of rotary had anywhere from four to six cylinders in it. Very similar to a early 1900s uh, steamship. I think we've uh, come pretty close to a representation of how this rotary would sound. And for more information, check out our website, soundtracks.com.